Vortex has a new red dot pistol mounted optic. It is a comprehensive package, which means it comes with all kinds of things to help you mount this on your guns. It is for small concealed carry guns because it is just a thin profile optic. I've got it on this SIG 365 and it's just a shade wider than the slide, but it is absolutely no wider than the grip itself. Things that are included in here, a mounting plate so that if I want to zero this thing at a distance closer than 15 yards, I can actually put that on and it will help save me some minutes of angle. How about a Picatinny rail mount option? I would love to have this on one of my 22s. It's small, it's light, it's easy to adjust. How about a pistol caliber carbine? Great for that. Rubber hood, I guess if you keep your guns in your safes all day, you could probably put the rubber hood on it. Me, I'd be out there using it. Also comes with its own tool. It's got a, a Torx bit on the end. It's all metal, uh, little adjustment keys on the end. It looks just like a handcuff key, but this thing's gonna help you out in the field getting it all put together. I'm not a fan of electronic sights because I'm worried about them dying. Well, it has an automatic shut off. It shuts off after 14 hours, 14 hours without movement. But then when it moves, it comes back on for 14 more. So if you're worried about putting this in your locker and keeping it there overnight, and then if it's gonna be alive in the morning, it's still gonna be running because as soon as you pick it up, it turns itself on. It's adjustable for brightness, so it's not auto adjust. You can also lock your brightness setting in. It's got a coated lens, curved lens, and then on the front face of the optic, what they've done is they've actually serrated the front of that. So when I work it with my hand, it's a really positive feeling. I could work it against an object like this table and I can lock that slide open if I needed to do one-handed operations. How about the size of the dot? Well, the size of the dot is 3M away. I like a 3M away dot, but you can always turn up the brightness on this so that it makes the dot bigger naturally. It's not a big deal and it's parallax free. So I'm gonna turn and shoot this and I'll tell you how you check for parallax free. So I pick this up and I aim at that coyote down there and I roll my head around. The dot does not move in the window when I roll my head around. So that means it's definitely parallax free. Something that's really cool and notable about this is it mounts so low in that shield footprint that with my factory sights, my standard sights, I'm actually co-witnessed on this pistol. So I, before I even came out here, I adjusted the red dot to the sights, put it on target, and I was really close. I just had to make some minor adjustments. So let's see if it really works as good as it's supposed to. So I'm gonna shoot that coyote there in the back a couple times. stacking them up pretty good. Now I'm gonna shoot the plate rack, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try putting the red dot in the window in different places to make sure it really holds. So the plate on the far left, I'm gonna put that dot way up in this corner. And I'm just gonna try to put that dot in the center of that plate. Boom, good hit. I'm gonna do it again, except I'm gonna put it down in this bottom corner down here and I'm gonna have to use my left eye because I can't get it down in. Great hits. So this optic is actually parallax free. It works exactly as it's intended to, but it also says that it is waterproof. Well, what happens when water gets into an open emitter? Sometimes it really screws things up. So I'm gonna holster this, and I just so happen to have a bottle of water. So I'm out on the range, it's raining, and my sight fills up with water, cause man, it's really raining. So I've got that in there. I'm gonna let that settle into the emitter. I come up, I try to find that dot. Whew. <laughs> I've got water all over my glasses and all over myself, but it's still, it's still shooting enough to hit plates, which means I could definitely use it in a defensive situation. So Vortex Defender CCW, you're gonna find it for about $300 or less on the streets. I think it's worth a look.